Welcome to the TMC Newsroom. Rich Tarani here. Thanks for watching. We're at IT Expo West 2012. We're in Austin, Texas. The Austin Convention Center on our program is Joe Sherman, the founder and CEO of Evangelize Communications. Joe, welcome to the show. Thanks, Rich. Thanks for having me. Uh, thrilled to have you. Uh, Evangelize Communications, what do you guys do? So we are in the business of developing unified communications software applications for uh, communication-enabled business processes, so CEVP applications. Uh, we primarily work uh, directly with Microsoft, uh, focusing on the link platform. So we look at the application programmable interfaces, the APIs, and the software development kits, and we build solutions on top of those kits and on top of those APIs, or the interface with those APIs. And so as an example, there are uh, you know, existing applications out there in the marketplace today, such as live chat. In fact, on the TMC website, you guys use uh, live person as your uh, chat mechanism for your website. And so we've developed a chat product that actually integrates directly within Link so that on a Link client, you can actually respond to chats instead of having to go and, and sign into a separate application, really providing a, a true unified experience for not only your communications, but also your business applications. So that's our primary you know, focus of business. Now, do you focus on uh, segments of the market? Like you have uh, financial applications and healthcare? Yeah, we, I mean, we started out developing kind of uh, utility-based or integration uh, services and solutions. Uh, we developed a solution called Smart SIP and Smart VoIP, which we actually got an award from you guys back in 2009, and I actually sold that to uh, NET back in 2010, which is part of their whole UX uh, gateway strategy with Sonus, Sonus now. Yeah. So Smart SIP was our product, and uh, basically we've developed a series of applications in that realm, like to filling a void or filling a need within the UC market. Now we're looking at specific verticals, such as healthcare and higher education, uh, online learning management systems, uh, we're really getting into the medical field around smart care, which is a product that we're starting beta development on this month, actually, uh, out in New York City. We've got a dedicated staff of uh, physicians that are going to be working with us. And that's to really provide a unified communications solution for healthcare, leveraging the modalities that are available inside the medical center. And we're doing the exact same in uh, online learning management. So for higher education or even organizations that want to provide training internally, they can leverage a unified communications platform, whether it's Link, you know, which is our preferred client, or uh, Jabber from Cisco, you name it, and provide the uh, integration within that client framework. Now, uh, in terms of the competitive situation, do you typically go up against in-house development? Sometimes, yes. In fact, uh, just with all of our products, SmartChat specifically is a product we're announcing here at this event for Link 2013. But uh, basically, there is competition with existing solution you know, development that's out there today and there is competition with in-house development from the, the most of our enterprise customers that we work with today. And what they typically look at is, you know, what is it going to take us to develop something like this internally? And one thing that we have as an advantage is that we've developed over the past four years a series of code libraries leveraging the platform that we're working with. So if it's a J Jabber API or Jabber SDK or a Link API or Link SDK, We've mostly done all the integration work necessary to interface with the platform, so it cuts down the development time significantly. And that enables us to provide a price to our customers that is affordable instead of having to go and pay for a development team to focus on developing that solution. And on top of that, we focus on solutions that have you know, features that are really uh, uh, interesting or, or uh, important to, to massive amount of customers, not just a specific niche you know, for one specific customer. Now, uh, companies, uh, especially nowadays with so many acquisitions, they end up with uh, disparate PBXs. And oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm wondering, does that affect their decision to work with your organization? Because what happens if uh, a company is Microsoft link base and then they go out tomorrow and they buy um, a company that has, happens to have a short tail PBX? Right. Where do they stand? So on the voice side of things, you know, we, we try to abstract what we're doing from a development perspective. Uh, Meaning, what I mean by that is, you may have a link client as your instant messaging tool and your collaboration tool, but you might have a short tail PBX and use that for your phone system. We still have a play there because our, our software actually interfaces with the link client software application itself, not the actual PBX or the phone. But what we've decided to do over the past couple of years uh, is take a step back and start building libraries and, and code development strategies at a kind of a top layer interface level so that we can interface with a Cisco SDK or API, a Link SDK or API, or a you know, Siemens uh, OpenScape you know, SDK or API, 
and we're actually talking to other vendors about developing our solutions for their platforms so that we do have a solution to offer for that hybrid type customer. Most that we've found over the past two years, uh, most organizations are moving to link for instant messaging and collaboration, even if they're not using voice. So we still have a significant play there just because our products don't require the enterprise voice component that uh, Microsoft Link provides. That, you were saying most organizations are moving to Link? Yes, if either in a, a Link Online uh, perspective you know, in the cloud or a managed hosted Link or Link On-Prem. Because I think the market research figures would indicate that they have to have a much higher share of the market. We're just saying there's, there's momentum towards Much Link. more momentum, yeah, um, than in the past. I think Link Online's really opened up a lot more opportunity. I've seen some large, I, I met with about uh, 15 to 20 uh, Fortune 50 CEOs and CIOs over the past, uh, uh, I guess six months to eight months, and I have one CIO that actually moved uh, close to 80,000 users to Link Online, and that's a significant portion of, of users moving to the platform. Now, uh, what about cloud-based solutions? So, with the cloud, we've developed software that sits in the cloud, meaning our, our libraries actually integrate with Windows Azure, and we are working with uh, actually Visual Studio 2012, which has a very unique development IDE, or integrated development environment for us to leverage cloud-based. Uh, componentry, meaning they can host our components in the cloud instead of actually taking our full application and, and hosting it in the cloud, which we also do. We work with uh, hosting providers or organizations that are providing managed hosted UC and enabling a multi-tenant type environment for those uh, providers as well. So it's not just cloud, but also a managed and hosted UC, depending on the customer's choice. Because a lot of customers are interested in cloud-based UC, but not all the modalities are available yet in the cloud today. Mostly I am in collaboration. Is there anything else we should know going forward? Well, just keep, uh, keep UC soft. <laughs> That's our goal. We're, we're really uh, in the business of coming up with innovative new ways to develop uh, software that leverages communication modalities, and we're terrible at sales. So our focus is to open up a whole new revenue stream for partners and bars and resellers, especially uh, telecom bars that have really struggled to kind of move into this new uh, UC software space, and uh, there's a, a great opportunity because they have the you know, the customer base and the, the sales acumen, not the nerd, you know, dive into a cave, develop code for 12 hours a day type individual. We're not really good in front of a, you know, a live customer, but um, yeah, it's, it's a whole new opportunity that we're trying to open up for, for partners that you guys invite to this event. Fantastic. Thanks for being here today. Oh, my great. pleasure. Thank you very much. Yeah.